Hey everybody, welcome back to another brand new and exciting episode of Grindcast, the official podcast of GrindOnWord.com. And this show is brought to you by, as it's been for the past month or so, uh, by Ripped Apparel. Uh, head on over there, you know the drill by now. Three new designs every day, sign up, you can get it sent to you in your email. And uh, use code GRINDCAST, no caps, and you will get 10% off your order. I'm a little sad that I missed that on one. There was this really fantastic one with Lock, Shock, and Barrel, and like a band with Santa Claus uh, locked in a cage behind them. Oh, now I remember who that is. Because I was thinking of, like, for some reason I thought, like, of Westerns. Like, I was thinking, like, Clint Eastwood, and then, like... <laughs> I said Lock, Shock, and Barrel. I know. I just... <laughs> who, who in a Western just go around shocking people? Like, they let Electro back into the fucking yeah, I mean, Wild they, West. They made, like, a Spider-Man Wild West. <laughs> then they did the... They had the one with, like, Freddy Krueger as if, like, he was, like, Michael Jackson where he had, like, his claw up. And, like, I've seen that with that. Yeah. one. was kind of cool, but... Yeah. yeah. You like the minorities, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah. That Puerto Rican t-shirt. <laughs> of course you would. <clears throat> yeah. I'll wear it again. <laughs> I hope you do. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 I liked it. I'll sit here and eat flan as I wear it. Flan is delicious. <laughs> I mean, I hope you get somebody to make it for you. Don't do one of those Jello flans. They're fucking horrible. <laughs> no, I, that's I a have, PSA out there. Don't do that. I know somebody that makes good flan. I'll, I'll, I'll Why do I feel it. like you always have a person for everything? <laughs> He's Shay. You're like, oh, got a hole in my roof. Got a guy for that. Need some flan. Got a guy for that. <laughs> no, he's got an old Mexican mom for that. <laughs> it's just like in the basement. Consuela, <laughs> flan. Oh yes, Mr. Bacon. <laughs> that Senor was funny. Oh yes, Mr. Bacon. Thank you, flan. <laughs> Is the war over? No, 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 it's not. You should probably just stay down there and make me more flan. <laughs> That's all she does. He just like tricked this old woman <laughs> to stay in his basement, and make him flan by saying there's a war where we're just killing all Mexicans. Mm-hmm. Why did they do it, Mr. Bacon? <laughs> they hired Trump. Nothing yeah. I can do about it. There's a wall. You're doing God's work. <laughs> Why did they do, Mr. Bacon? Why they do, Mr. Bacon? There's a wall. It starts in the ground and disappears into the cloud. <laughs> this is the fucking Tower of Babel. Nobody gets in, nobody gets out. You should probably just not worry your head and just, just make me some flan. <laughs> just make some flan, because someday Snake Plissken will come in and save us all. <laughs> Escape from America. <laughs> Escape from America, not not Lancaster, PA. Just, just America. Just, yeah, just America. The mm-hmm. little place it is. Mm-hmm. All right. Tiny village of America. <laughs> I'm Matt. <laughs> Will. And Jason. And Jason. Hey, and Jason. All right. And with that, let's do some news, guys. Pulls <laughs> out. Netflix buys Miller. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, so... <laughs> Disney has Stop. backed out of the Netflix deal that would give them exclusive streaming rights to their their films, including the Star Wars films and even the Marvel <coughs> original series that will be ending as of 2019 as Disney transfers over into its own streaming service. That's great. To the shock of nobody, right? Yeah. Great. I won't be buying that. Jamie will. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot. God damn it. Yeah, you'll be... <laughs> well, why would you need that? You have most of the stuff. I guess for some of the stuff that will be exclusive, because you know yeah. they're going to have exclusive That's stuff. That's the only reason they would yeah. have to They would yeah. have to make exclusive stuff to make people buy it. But, I mean, if they go, not only would they take their Disney properties, Star Wars, Marvel, they would also take the ESPN stuff, so the 30 for 30 films. They would take stuff that was ABC probably with them. Um, I mean, they own quite a bit of, of stuff that, that runs on uh, Netflix currently. and I think this this hurts Netflix real bad. Like, to lose the Marvel properties, which they've done so well with. I, uh, yeah. I mean, no I mean, they, Daredevil? That's yeah. going to suck. Now, I know some people are saying, eh, by the time 2019 rolls around, some of the stuff will appear out because we will have had Defenders, which comes out this month. And we would have had, you know, two seasons of Jessica Jones. We would have, by then, probably three seasons season of Daredevil. Daredevil. Yeah. We'd have a Punisher de- uh, season. We would have, you know, probably another Luke Cage season. You know, people might it might start wearing a little thin. Yeah. But at the same time, they keep expanding it further, too. So it's like, 
if you don't like Jessica Jones, you probably like Luke Cage. If you don't like Luke Cage, then you might like Daredevil. You know, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> Um, a little bit. Yeah. But, but you know... I love Blue Cage, though. That was a good show. It, it was. It really was. Um, I don't know how I felt about Diamondback, but Cottonmouth and Shades I like. But... Yeah. What? Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. You can see, too. <sighs> During that whole thing, Jason passes okay. me his phone, and he's looking up Diddy Kong Racing. Is that complete sealed or something? It's probably sealed. It's probably new. I guess, but I, was that on I Amazon? really wasn't looking up. It was just on the front page. And yeah. yeah, he just shows me Diddy Kong Racing with a price tag of like $374. That's probably a sealed price. St- Original no, box I'm... and inserts and instruction manual. Box is in good shape with typical wear. Not Edges sealed. And Not Cartridge sealed. and label is also in good shape. Never. I would never pay that for what? a sealed version. No. Fuck that. But anyway, so... See if he lives on Courtley Street. Yeah. <laughs> So Netflix, uh, they're like, okay, Disney's leaving us, so we might lose some comic properties. So they turn around and they purchase the comic company Miller World, which people are going, what is Miller World? Well, Miller World is the creation of a comic artist named Mark Miller, who... (laughs) Not Frank. (laughs) Not Frank, uh, who has been a part of several popular series, including Wanted, Kick-Ass, and Kingsman. Um, However... None of those properties are involved in this because the studio rights are already owned by other studios. However, what this does is there's still quite a library uh, that they could use to make Netflix original shows out of that. So, I mean, they're, they're not completely, you know, saying, throwing up their arms and saying, well, you know, we're not just going to, we're not going to have comic related stuff. They're just going to go purchase it elsewhere. Honestly, with some of their original shows that they make anyway, I don't think. They really need to have the comic stuff. No, I think what they tried to do is they tried to cover as much ground as possible. Because as far as Netflix originals go, it's all over the map. You got comedies, you got cartoons, you got, um, you got horror, action, you got horror, you got yeah. sci-fi, and even some of the like the foreign-made stuff is actually really good too. That's Netflix originals, like three hmm. percent. But like, uh, you know, as soon as I heard that Disney was pulling out this deal, I'm like, e, that's not good for Netflix stock. Because I know when, when the deal was announced, I know they were riding high. And to the fact that Disney's going to do their own streaming service, this did not surprise me one bit. I'm like, well, I'm surprised. I don't, yeah, I don't think it surprised anybody. That's just going to be, that just yeah. makes, it's a no-brainer. Yeah, I mean, they all, all the major media companies are starting to do their own. I mean, Hulu, I think, is NBC Universal and Comcast owned. Yeah. And Crackle was Sony Columbia's attempt. Boy, did that thing fucking just fail. Like, <laughs> Which was just not good. I remember like when Freeple first came across Crackle, they're just like, this is fucking free? It's got mm-hmm. movies on it? This is awesome. How does this, how can you even get away with this? And then you slowly find out, like, oh, it's just these properties that this, so this is it's all, all I'm Sony ever Columbia going to watch. Properties. Yeah. Yeah. And then that kind of just. And even Amazon Prime video isn't that impressive to me. It's okay. It's okay, but like I don't like their interface at all. Like, no, it's awful. It, it's, it's atrocious, <laughs> but better or worse than the Xbox One interface? Uh, no, it's, I don't have an Xbox One, so I can tell you, I'd but say I'd say better. It's better, but it's close. Everything Is everything left justified? It kind of yeah. does like a fake... I, I don't know why they do that shit. It kind of like a fake Netflix thing where they give you like the options on the left and then you see the things on the right. But if you find a show on Amazon Prime Video, you have to pick by season, and they don't put them all together. Yeah. And it doesn't like, you know, like how, if you when you're going through the Netflix interface, you got like, you can pick seasons, and then you can yeah. pick episodes. With this, it's only like, almost like a DVD box set. It's like, this is this season. But then it doesn't like, say, people who watch this, watch this. This season. Like, or the, have the next the season, season listed. or whatever. Oh, you that's have to whole actually, thing. like, Look use the, the search quite a bit. And that's it's, fucking annoying. It's not intuitive at all. Um, it's okay for watching right. movies, though. Well, that just saved me some money. Yeah. I mean, it's one of those deals where, like, if you're getting Prime already, then, yeah, you might as well yeah. take advantage, because they do have already, some yeah. good original shows on there, too. Yeah. But uh, what the fuck is it? What's it called? Sneaky Pete. is Sneaky Pete with uh, Giovanni Ribisi, it's and I good. really enjoyed uh, Man in the High Castle. Because you like Nazis. And the fact that Steven Root is in it is fantastic, because I love Steven He likes Root. Nazis. No, he doesn't. They had great German Shepherd art. <laughs> that 
Yeah, they did. Um, I, I, like I said, I don't really know much more what I can say about this. I think that the Disney deal hurts Netflix, and I think that Miller World is not the answer. But it's ah. it's like they're just like, hey, we're still trying, we're still doing stuff. I, so they, they, I watched another Kick Ass, and I really enjoyed the first Kingsman. Yeah, but they're not going to be in there because yeah. they're already owned by different properties. Their, their rights are already owned by other. Why studios. not? Rip. Just an idea. I don't think Todd McFarlane has ties with HBO anymore. Mm-hmm. Why not go for some image stuff? At least they're a little bit more known than Miller World. Yeah. Which honestly just sounds like a shitty theme park for Miller Beer, honestly. <laughs> well, I might be pronounced. It might be Millar, but I. I, I uh, fuck off with this fucking. Still, thing. it's Miller. <laughs> Still, even Malar World doesn't even yeah. sound good. No, it, it's a really weird uh, name for that. But Image, You're fucking. I mean, you have Image. You have, well, even image. if you want to go farther down, you got Dark Horse, you got Boom Studios, you got like you, you could be good from any of those, honestly. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, you get in the Dark Horse, then you could start making Hellboy shit if you wanted to. But isn't that owned by? Uh, well, studio rights would be owned by Sony, isn't it? Is that Sony or is that 20th Century? I don't know. I mean, anyway, there's, there's Sony that's the movies on Netflix that, so. that we always run into is the fucking studio rights shit, and no one wants yeah, to give it, up money. It is. It's pretty ridiculous. How and if you don't have that, then you have region coding issues. Yeah, it's amazing. You can watch anything. <laughs> <laughs>